Short Shorts Solar Photovoltaic Array Most of the videos in this series have focused on energy efficiency, but to get this house to net zero, it's going to have to generate some power of its own. And it's going to do that with a 10 kilowatt solar array. So how did you decide on net wattage? We knew coming up front that we had to go net zero. So that kind of drove a little bit out of the design of the home. And that's why we have a lot of flat roof, you know, a 212 pitch. And it was just to be able to have the space to accommodate 10 kilowatts, which translates into 40 panels. The solar power isn't actually going straight into the house. It's going no. right out the meter into the grid, yes. but then you're getting paid for that energy, and that really will offset the energy that's coming back into the house because the sun's shining during the day, yeah. lights are on at night. You have to offset those two. Absolutely. You know, with uh, supply and demand, it doesn't happen at the same time when you're using power. So you want to send it back, and uh, power companies appreciate that. The net zero component of this house really does bring value to that proud green home. Granted, without that, I mean, it would still be a beautiful yes. building. It's still very efficient, a lot of energy savings, yeah. a lot of great technology. Yes. But to be able to achieve net zero, that's a real point of pride. This home, without the renewable, has a Hertz index of 45. And what that means in simple terms is that it's 50% better than uh, a home built to a 2009 energy code. And that's pretty much as much as you can do before getting into uh, mm. renewable. 